Okay, so how are you guys doing? I hope you're all having a wonderful day. So I found a new way to do an inventive way. So say you don't have the big fried green or red tomatoes and you're just working with small. I'm gonna use smalls right here. Yes, they're very, very small, but when I can get some big tomatoes, I will do that. And yeah, I'm gonna try and get some green tomatoes, but if I can't, cause Oregon, unless it's like fresh and right off the vine, yeah, you're not getting it. So more, most likely I'm gonna have to grow some tomatoes. And if that happens, I will make another video of me cooking green tomatoes and frying them up. So today I'm um, doing a practice video and I'm doing a inventive one of me frying up some little tomatoes and they're cherry red tomatoes and as you can see they're tiny. I've sliced them up. Here's the eggs. It's been whisked up. I'm about to add the natural milk. I've seasoned the flour, which is right here, and the tomatoes I use for these, which I put in the fridge. So, yeah, here's what these look like. Give you a little zoom on it so you can zoom in. Okay. So, I'm going to go over here. I'll turn the... Yeah, they're, like I said, they're tiny. But, again, I figured this would be a new and inventive way. And I don't have the big ones right now. And some people actually use red and green tomatoes. But most of the time they just use the green tomatoes. But some people do the fried t green tomatoes uh, red and green. They do it unripe and ripe. But yeah, like I said, most of the time they're just done green. So yeah, that was something new that I uh, found out yesterday. So yeah, we are going to go. So, I'm going to whisk these eggs up. People use buttermilk with this, but if you don't have the buttermilk, that's fine. You can add milk, but if you add milk, you want to put two eggs ah, in a bowl. Rip my goddamn phone out of my hand. and I'm going to put a pinch of salt and pepper on them. Which, as you guys can see, they're... Yeah. Small, so it's going to be fairly easy. And it'll take out the moisture and make it so when we fry up the tomatoes that they're not soggy. 
You okay now? As you guys know, I've just like started learning to do this, so yeah. Pretty nails. I'm organizing them too around the plate. Oh. 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 As you can see, I'm grabbing them and patting them dry and arranging them on the plate. So here are the tomatoes on the plate, there. Now, what I'm going to do is take some salt. And because these are so tiny, you guys can see. going to draw up the moisture. Also, because these are so tiny, they don't really have both sides, but I'm going to flip it over. I took her sticker off this morning when she was asleep. So that's good. She wants another one. These were a little too tiny, but. It's okay. salt that side. This one's going on sirens. 
And then you do it with the pepper. Now we're going to flip them back over. Ugh. Okay, so here are the fried tomatoes. Now we'll put pepper on this side. Okay, salt. Okay. Now, here's the flour. And I am going to take each of these. Okay. I get another plate, you guys. And then, yes, we're going to dip them in that afterwards. Because when people make these, they also dip them in the flour first and then the eggs. Yesterday when I made these, I made a mistake. So, yeah. See how they look? That's what you should do first. Yesterday I made a mistake when I was making them. And these are so little it's going to be kind of difficult to fucking do because I'm... That's why they do thick <laughs> fried tomatoes. But I mean, some people, they actually just, when they do the fried tomatoes, dip them in eggs first, then flour, and then just put them straight in the frying pan. But most people, when they do them, they dip the, um, uh, the um, tomatoes and this first, then that, and then they put them in the frying pan. So, yeah. It's a learning process.
and you can also make them with that really good hollandaise sauce and um, that ranch that they make, homemade ranch that they do with the fried tomatoes, fried green tomatoes. And sometimes, again, people use red, so. All right, now that that's done, I'm gonna wash my hand real quick. Cause I got flour all over it. Okay. And then I'm going to get a small pan. Here's my kitchen. Also make sure that the uh, oil is warm because if you don't, the tomatoes will come out soggy and mushy and you don't want to um, have them coming out soggy and mushy. Oh, and you wanted to know the reason that um, people use mostly green tomatoes instead of red is because the riper the tomato is, the less thick it is. and the more likely they are, the fried tomatoes, the more likely they are to come out um, mushy and, yeah, soft and stuff. When Especially when they're fried and they'll come out gushy. So, that's why most people in the South just use green tomatoes instead of red. But some people down there like them both ways. So, yeah. And when you use a red tomato instead of a green, it's more juicier than it is when it's green because it's not quite ripe yet so yeah I'm gonna let that warm up and then I'm gonna put the mini tomatoes the mini tomatoes in here but make sure it's you want it to be boiling while bubbling Want it to be the tomatoes to be fried to a golden brown. Okay, so when that's ready, I will come back in segment two and I will see you guys then.